Welcome to Personal Development Mastery Podcast and this is another snippet of wisdom where I select my favorite, most insightful moments from previous episodes. Today's snippet is from my conversation with Jamie Fair, who is a speaker, author, coach and a good friend of mine. It is about creating lasting motivation and I trust that you will find it insightful. Those obstacles that come up that you mentioned, which always come up, I think they are intentional, they are part of the journey, and they are opportunities for us to grow. So those obstacles are there for a reason. They're not to get in our way. They're not to stop us. They're to cause us to grow and change to reach that, you know, that thing that we're searching for, that we're going after. So I don't think motivation just happens. Um, Many of us or we're waiting for that day when we feel motivated to go after our dream or to go after what we want. And I don't believe that's going to happen ever. Motivation doesn't just suddenly come upon you one day. It's possible, sure, but I think we need to create motivation. So if you'll excuse the brief plug, uh, I co-authored a book called A Journey of Riches, Motivate Your Life. And in there, I wrote a chapter called Creating Lasting Motivation that you brought up. And It is all about how you create motivation. And it starts with having one of those dreams, having something that scares you a little bit, particularly those are are the best dreams, right? The ones like, ooh, that's scary to think about. Um, That's how we start to create motivation is by having a dream and then having the willingness to go after it, even though it's scary, probably outside of our comfort zone. And even though we know those obstacles are coming. In that chapter, I'll talk about the three uh, big detractors that happen when we decide to create motivation. That's like overwhelm, um, self-criticism, and of course, fear. You know, fear is a big one. That's what gets in our way a lot. And personally, I think that fears are meant to be pushed on. Almost always, if there's something that you want, but it's scary, then on the other side of that fear is something amazing for you. And in my life, it was public speaking. I was utterly terrified of public speaking. I would have rather died than done public speaking or a podcast like today, for instance. (laughs) Like it was one of my two greatest fears in my life, heights and public speaking. And yet life began to happen. All these events started, you know, happening to me where I was required to do speaking engagements over and over speaking events. Um, I remember a big one for me was uh, I had started my job in leadership and there was a company meeting and we were all listening to a couple speakers and out of the blue, someone said, hey, Jamie, will you come talk about that thing that's happening in your your department? And I had never spoken in front of a group outside of my little meetings with my own team, uh, which were scary enough. I had to get past them, right? But this is that that growth thing. It starts out small and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, And I got up in front of all these people from this company and I just completely locked up. I I remember just like, I couldn't, the words would not come out. I was so scared and people started to get a little restless because I couldn't say anything. And I realized like, I have two choices. I can go sit back down and be completely embarrassed for who knows how long, or I can find some way through this. And in that moment, I pushed hard (laughs) and I forced myself to speak. And once I got going, I was great. I was funny. People were laughing, but I had to get past that initial fear first. And over and over, things like that happened. You know, um, I've worked my way up to doing podcasts and, and then live podcasts and then some live videos, but it just keeps escalating in my life. Regardless of where I am in my life, it just keeps escalating. And don't think for a moment that it doesn't terrify me because it does. I, I don't sleep the nights before I stay up, you know, I, I get sweaty during these every time, but I just don't let it stop me because what I discovered was on the other side of that fear is a love of public speaking, a love of sharing these messages that I have of these experiences that I had and how I can help others um, in their lives. So I really want to encourage people to whatever it is, whatever your fear is to not let it just sit there. It's never going to change as long as you don't do anything about it. So I call it, you know, wearing away at your fear, eroding on that wall of fear Um, for heights for me, for instance, I will take opportunities to go do things that are well outside of my comfort zone. I'll I'll tell another story sometime. We have more time, but um, 
yeah, push yourself. Just keep pushing. Not a lot. You don't have to do it a lot, but a little bit all the time. Wear that wall down. Eventually, it will be so low, you can just walk over it like public speaking is for me. And you'll find on the other side is something beautiful and something you're probably passionate about. And that's why that fear existed in the first place. Thank you for listening. You will find the full conversation with Jamie Fair in episode 302. The link is in the episode description. If you enjoy this podcast, can you think of one person that would find it useful and share it with them? Thank you. Until next time, stand out, don't fit in, 